are you? How are you all doing tonight? Well, it is third Tuesday. Oof. I am so getting my days mixed up. We had something happen today here in St. Louis that did not make me plan on coming on back on the air tonight. But I am. So once again, it is Tuesday, August 18th. My name is Tiffany, and this is my voice for theirs. And I appreciate you all listening in. We have some very interesting things going on in the state of Missouri and the city of St. Louis. We are figuring things out as we go, of course, with our media conglomerates, but this one we will definitely have airing on YouTube and on our all of our podcast sites, Spotify, Anchor, uh, Radio FM, a few others that I can't even think to mention <laughs> right now. So as I was looking through and making all the binders for our house bills tonight and getting pretty frustrated with looking at some of the bills that these representatives are trying to push forward and very happy with some of the others. I was looking over our social media for the night and talking to my producer and we went ahead and we opened up a new Facebook page because we're having some problems with the Facebook monitors about our human trafficking page for our, our actual organization. Well, with me being an author and a motivational speaker and becoming a national figure now, as of September with this magazine that I will be publicized in for the Women of Empowerment magazine, Power Magazine, for uh, nonprofit management and victim advocacy well, we had to open up another page. <laughs> this will be our fourth page, I believe, for just myself, uh, for being a motivational speaker and an author and a consultant. So I received some information tonight about an event that happened. Hmm today in St. Louis County. And I have to say I'm quite disturbed, quite disturbed. St. Louis, I, lo I love what this one article read and it was, it was by Rebecca Rivas of the St. Louis American. Now, I have to admit, I am, I do know Paul Barry III, you know, I do have a lot of heart for North St. Louis. I do have a lot of heart for the underprivileged communities. It, it's just who I am. It's what we do as advocates. It's what we do to help out our black and impoverished communities, our women businesses, our women corporate leaders. We, it doesn't matter what color you are. If you're a woman in this state, you are not liked. And it does not matter if you have an LLC, if you have a small business, if you are a nonprofit leader, if you are an advocate, I'll be blunt. If, if you have, if you don't fit the white po political elite or white elite business owner, you are not liked in, in this area. Well, we fight against that. My nonprofit here, our nonprofit, we have a board of directors. We have authorities that we are a mixed board. We are not only veteran ran, we have veterans and civilians. We have black and white. We have 
Creole, we have men and women, we have everything. We made sure that we were very, very diverse for being here in the city of St. Louis. We started off that way. You know, we understand world politics, domestic politics, and we under definitely understand state politics. <laughs> we knew coming into this here in Missouri what we would be up against. So now, fast forwarding four years later, we're able to do what we do. So when we hear news that the St. Louis County Executive, Sam Page, has abruptly fired the inclusion director, Hazel Irby. Oh my Lord. Now listen, I have done so many inclusion projects, diversity projects, not just in this town and in the city, but all over the nation. And I've been a willing, willing participant and director and brainstormer and I can't tell you what else because this is so important now I haven't done it for 15 years like this ma'am does but she is a wonderful lady and you know two weeks after he you know after his victory he decides he's going to fire her, you know, as the leader for inclusion of the county. <laughs> and I loved what she tweeted. She was like, well, I was just relieving my duties as dir director of diversity, equity, and inclusion, she wrote in a tweet. And this was at 554 today. And at Dr. Sam Page, which would be his Twitter handle, said, I don't need you on my staff anymore. Wow. I don't need you on my staff anymore. 15 years experience in this city, and I don't need you on my staff anymore. Hmm. So she decided to respond, I will not be silent. Blacks are not valued in this administration, particularly black women. And you want to know what? She is absolutely correct. I was just on the phone Sunday with my business partner down in Houston, Texas, who is a mixed woman, but we don't see color in our, in our organization, but we talk about it all the time. How when we are partnering, partnering with other organizations or with the other organizations that we actually volunteer in, we have problems with this that we might not see color because we have blinders onto that because that's how we were raised. But the world does not have that. The world has absolute blinders into, they, they, they just, they, they see color. And this is a huge problem because racial diversity is becoming too much of a problem. Trust me and take it from somebody who's been in the medical field for 23 years.